Good day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph, and today I'm with Elisma. So I forgot for a moment my name. <laughs> I was like, uh, Joseph, yeah, that's the answer. All right, so today we're going to minister to 10 people. Um, if you in the future also would like to receive ministry in the same format, you can write your name in the comments and we will minister to you. All right, so the first person I want to minister to is Marika Ferreira. All right, so Marika. Uh, when I was praying for you, the Lord was showing to me how a gate slowly open and how the sun slowly come up. And what the Lord said to me, that He is opening an opportunity for you. But it's not going to be like the one day there's nothing and the next day yeah, there's a big opportunity. I felt this is going to be a slow process that God is going to do in your life to open up the opportunity for you. And uh, He's also giving you grace. And he's giving you the provision so that you can take on this new thing that God has given to you. The Lord loves you very much and he takes us through cycles in our lives where we finish one thing and we start something new. And I just see how slowly but surely you move into something new. God bless you, Marika. Amen. Next word it is for Benuya. Um, I see you standing um, on a crossroad and there's, there's, there's two signs that you need to choose. And then you you move to, you know, your God says, and it's almost like the sign is highlighted the way you need to go. And then you go that way and then it's, uh, there's, there's good things waiting for you there. But you need to make the right decision with the, this crossroad that you are facing. Sometimes, you know, there, there's people that speaks into your life and they influence your decision. So you need to be so sensitive to the Holy Spirit so that you can make the right choice um, and so that you, you can go into this area where, where God wants you to walk in and I see there's, there's a growth there's a growth so, so God is going to take you on a different path where there's a growth spiritually and then I feel He's going to give you um, it's almost like an um, a increase a different anointing an increase in your spiritual so that you can, can, um, can connect more with Him in that area be blessed yeah awesome Benuya I agree with uh, Elisma um Sometimes we have to kind of lay down our own fleshly desires, else it's going to be difficult for us to figure out what God is saying. And so God says, speaks to you, and then if you want something else the whole time, then it's going to be very difficult for you to hear what God is saying. Yeah. So, surrender, that's that's the, that's the a key for, for all of us. All right, awesome. God bless you. Okay, next word is for Tony. Uh, Tony, uh, the Lord showed me that He has already given you the strategy of what to do a long time ago. And so you had this burning desire in your heart. But you didn't always have the tools or the provision that you need so that you can execute this plan that God has given to you. And I see how the Lord in a season gives you the tools, He opens up the doors, He gives you the right connections, and He gives you the provision so that you can go forward with the plan that God has for your life. Uh, the Lord has given you a very strong anointing uh, for, for business and, and to work with people and to speak into people's lives. And I just see how the Lord is giving you now more tools. God bless you, Tony. I mean, the next word is for Ella. Ella, um, I see you walking on, on this beautiful, like, like, green grass and next to it is a river with beautiful flowers and you take this it's white flowers you take these flowers and you, it's almost like you make a crown for yourself with these beautiful white flowers and as you do that the lord speaks into your heart that it just says so there's so much purity there's so much kindness there's so much gentleness that flows from you and and with this you 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 have so much joy because sometimes you forget the kindness that you give off sometimes you forget that 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 purity you know um, that you give off to other people in other words how you 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 want you you teach other people how to be pure in that because they look at you and they see that you are set apart for the Lord and God just wants to remind you with all of these white flowers this white flower crown that you need you know you, you need to not be held back by by anyone that you need to just move forward because God is sending people over your path so that you can show them what kindness is so that you can show them what purity is because if you're a child of God we want to move in purity we want to move in kindness and gentleness so um just it's, it's like a reassurance that god is 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 saying to you good and well done good and faithful servant continue with what you are doing um and just a, a flow of joy over your life be blessed hey hello uh, god bless you uh it's so wonderful that god is giving you a crown yes. uh, and a crown is something that we wear so that's it's always on our lives all right god bless you hello all right so eliza uh, Eliza, what I saw is that you had a wound. 
um, something happened really traumatic in your life and it really caused hurt in you. And I saw how the Lord came, he put his oil on you and he put the bandage on you. And, and now the Lord showed me that you have the bandage on, but the wound is already healed. And so he wants you to take off the bandage and kind of let that hurt be done with and say, okay, I forgive, I let go, I'm moving forward. And so you say, but I still have that scar. And so, you know, with a normal scar, we put oil on the scar. And so the Lord is putting his anointing oil on that scar. But the Lord wants you to look forward. And so as you look forward, then you'll be one that starts to, re to rehabilitate and to uh, train and get busy with the plan that God has for your life. And, you know, in, in the Bible, it says there, uh, if you uh, look back, when you plow, you're not fit for the kingdom of God. And I just felt that the Lord says, now is the time to stop looking back and to look forward with what God is doing in your life. He's got a great plan for you. But if you're going to think about what happened in the past and allow that to affect you, then you're not going to go forward and chase after the amazing plan that God has for you. God bless you, Eliza. Amen. Thanks for this for Annette. Annette, I see you standing in front of this big and a house and it's and, and immediately it said to me it's the white house and you feel but you don't want to enter this house because you you're not worthy enough and you don't know enough and you know you're not high enough to go into this place and then but but God wants to he's going to uh, move you in a place of advance move you in a place of a higher place in in your work area in your business area because um, it's almost like he says you are ready now to go higher you are ready now to go further because you have done with what he has given you you've been faithful with what, what he has given you so he's going to give you more he's going to give you increase he's going to give you increase in finances he's going to increase in responsibilities and yeah. he's going to you know just give you increase in whatever you were called to be also at the spiritual side so so just walk in this and and don't don't be don't fear because um god you know he's placed you in this because you can handle it you are mature enough to handle it now so just enjoy the blessing and keep on growing because god wants us to keep on growing in his kingdom in and in whatever we do on earth yeah be blessed yeah Annette uh, God bless you yeah the, there is a covering of God upon your life and um, this word that uh, let's mark, give you it's a wonderful word go and write it out and declare it over your life all right awesome Annette um, so the next word is for Sunita uh, Sunita uh, I was praying for you and I just see how you dance and worship and surrender yourself to God and you do it a lot of days not just a, a one-time event, it's like, uh, like a lifestyle of just worshipping God, surrendering, dancing, and a lot of flow, and you just open up your heart and show all your emotions to God. And then the Lord showed me, as you do it, He helps you to get free in your life, so that you can be free to, to be that child of God that who He has called you to be. And I've, I felt there was things uh, in your maybe like bloodline curses, things in your past that's holding you back, uh, especially in the area of rebellion. Uh, and I felt as you surrender and you dance before the Lord, He's just completely setting you free of those things that want, wanted to have you and you walk free in the plan that God has for you. God bless you. I mean, next word is for Aston. Um, I see that God is increasing creativity in, in your life where you are just wherever it's like there's paint all over you, but it's colorful paint. And wherever you walk, there's colorful paint dripping, colorful paint dripping. And and with this, it is, it's, it's going to increase your creativity where, where he, God is going to show you visions and you, you are going to be able to draw it or paint it or express it on paper. And so that this can speak to other people. And through this, also see that you write, you write down. So you you're going to create something and you're going to write it down and this is going to speak to people because you're going to share your testimony with other people through the art that you are creating and it's going to be a different type of art it's not going to be the same as other people same as other people so so just flow with it if God says do this do this just flow with it and you'll see the end product will come out beautifully because God is a creator and that's why you are creative so just flow with that and and because that is really going to help other people to get a release into their brokenness and into this um, you know area of, of bondage be blessed yeah that's then uh, God bless you uh, so the next one is for Edel all right so Edel uh, the Lord shows me how you are very hospitable you really love people 
how you are an intercessor, how you are an encourager, uh, and how you are very faithful in the community where you are to love the people around you. Uh, the Lord has also given you a generational anointing, a blessing, and I actually see a few generations, it could be three or four generations of people that are blessed and they walk in God's plan. And that's, and that's unusual because most people come out of, you know, um, a past and now they converted to God and now they're kind of like the first one uh, in the generations. But I just see how there's like a generational blessing that's coming over a long time in your life. Um, and then um, the Lord said, uh, gave me this word, I, am, I will give you and your family supernatural provision. And even if you feel, but I can't contribute right now, um, I felt that the Lord says, do not fear, trust in Him, He will provide for you. God bless you. I mean, next year is for Krista. Krista, I see you walking in this big house and you're opening doors and you're seeing if everyone's okay in each and every door. And by the time you get to your own room, it's, it's almost morning and you're exhausted. You didn't rest. So it's almost like you you worry about other people's things. You you take on other people's burdens and you consume yourself with their things and their things. And in the end, when you get to your own life, when you get to your own things that you need to take care of, you, do, you don't have time for that. You don't have space for that. You don't have energy to do what you need to do so God says it's time to let go it's time to let go of all these things and yes you have a, have a caring heart and yes you do care but just pray for people sometimes we can't fix other people's things we the best we can do is to pray to keep on praying for other people because in the end other people make their own choices um, so uh, um, so just stand back a little bit and, and, and you know push your prayer life upwards and so that you can take care of yourself so that you can take care of your body because it's almost like um you know when we when we worry too much about other things we don't when we don't go into a, a, a season of rest and i mean also it's not just a spiritual rest but also a physical rest your body will take um like it it, 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 it will carry the burdens and it it will get a uh, week so stand up in that feed your spirit side and speed feed your physical side so that you can get rest so that you can be strong in in whatever you need to do um because you you and don't let don't let people take your your caring heart for granted be blessed hey right. krista uh, god bless you uh, so uh it was about six years ago so i i was talking with some of the guys on the ministry team there at golf church i don't know if i don't think you were yet there this uh, it was more uh amy and alida and i think shania was there and so and i said to them that god told me that all of us need to make disciples and so therefore if you're going to make disciples in today's life how do we communi communicate with people we communicate through social media mm. i mean we also talk to people when we see them mm. but the lord is building networks that spans across the world is not any more local anymore anyway so so, and that was really the time where God said you need to start posting things and I didn't really like it at all in the beginning because I felt uncomfortable to do it and um, I didn't have any, I, we're not part of social media, I didn't know anybody on it so it was difficult for me in the beginning um, but here's Yelisma and she's been, now how many years have you been prophesying with us? Maybe three? Mm, yeah, three, three, or, three, yeah, three, three or four, four years, yeah. yeah a long time, okay mm. Um, yeah, even before COVID, hey, mm. remember, yeah. Okay, so in COVID, we sure. kind of yeah. uh, sneaky went to someone's <laughs> house and we sat there and prophesied. <laughs> and, you know, we were actually supposed to all stay at our own, own homes. But I, I remember, let's more also came. A few times I went with my car and I picked everybody up. So there's only one car at our house, you know. Yeah. So, but um, Elisma also have uh, social media. She's on Facebook. She's on YouTube. So I wanted to know, Elisma, tell them. Where are you? And then you can also in, your, in the video just put uh, a link for us so uh, people can reach so that you if they want to check you out. So maybe you can just tell them where they can go or okay. what you're doing. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> um, the ministry is God first. So it's GRD 1 ST, GGK for glorifying God's kingdom. So that is um, on YouTube. 
and then it also says Elisma van Royen, and then there's also a Facebook page. I'm not so much on Instagram. Um, I think the older generation, we don't do Instagram so much. Um, and that's it. I've just got the YouTube and then, yeah, my personal page, Elisma van Royen. Okay. So, that's what I do. so this video is, is coming out three o'clock Saturday on the 16th. So maybe you can just go and put your link. Yes. So Elisma will put a link in the in the comments, and if you guys wanna just go and even if you just go on one of the videos and just write a little comment and say, hey, Elisma, it was nice to see you. Thank you for ministering to me. Then it will also be nice as a way for you to connect with her also. So, Ian has a channel. Amy has a channel. I don't know if it's Shamaina. Shamaina is on Facebook, but I don't know if she posts anything. But uh, I think it's important for us. If God has called us to minister, yeah. it's, a, it's also a good place where you can practice, eh? <laughs> to start to, to just get that flow uh, of ministry in your life. Just, you get a lot of old ministers, like preachers, and they used to maybe preaching once every two or three weeks. And if you tell them you got to post on Facebook, they don't want to do it, you know, because it's hard for them. Uh, but God wants us to be faithful yes. and use what He has given to us. And so that's what Elisma is also doing. So that's why I just thought, uh, um, uh, we, she's ministering now and also on Monday she's also ministering on that video and in both those videos she'll put a link uh, so you can go and check it out alright awesome uh, we love and appreciate each one of you have a fantastic day God bless you thank you for joining Unity with Heaven remember to subscribe like comment and join our newsletter if you want to support us please click on the PayPal link. May God bless you abundantly. Remember, you are valuable and we love and appreciate each one of you. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here.